Hey everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear, and we're looking at some magazine holders today. This is the Warrior Molly magazine holder. This is a pull down version. So they're wanting you to mount this in the down position where the magazine would be facing down towards the ground. So it makes it easy to pull straight down and get it out and into um, whatever either paintball gun or airsoft gun you are using. Now you don't need to mount these upside down. You could mount them the other way around. You can mount them sideways. You can mount them any way you want, but they're gonna call it a pull down because that's kind of the direction that they're looking for right there. So let's show you the, the pouch all together. We've got elastic straps that run around the outside, which allow it to expand and open up to accommodate most magazine sizes. Now I've got a array of magazines over here. I've got the T15 full size, the new short one, a KWA Airsoft, uh, I think this is a 120 possibly. Yeah, 120. I've got an AK magazine. I've got the Dai uh, Dam magazine. So this one is popular in the dams as well as the MG100. And this is the full size version. So we've got a couple different shapes and sizes right here and we'll throw them into uh, these holders and, and see if they hold, which they do. Uh, the elastic strapping is adjustable, which is nice. So uh, if you have it real, real tight and the magazine is really hard to pull out of there, which if it's upside down might be a good thing, uh, you can loosen it up by adjusting the uh, slider on the side, giving the elastic a little bit more room to move. Or if you need to tighten it up, you can cinch it down and then make the elastic even tighter on there. These new Molly versions on the front side have some slotting where you can attach even more things on top of it. Now, the way this is set up, you can't double stack these together because you would have to offset them and it might be just kind of loose and wobbly on there. But if you have a single pouch or whatever that you want to stick on the front, you could do that. Weave it right through the front pieces right there. Now, the back side, the way this weave setup works on here, you've got two tabs on the top, which you will push forward to pop off. And at the same time you're pushing forward, you want to squeeze the front of the um, clip. So I squeeze it, move the little snap forward, and it will come off the front side like that. Now at this point, you can lift this up and then start threading it through the pack. So we're going to just lift this up real quick and push this off. And then we can put it through there. If we were going to run it this way, which would be facing down on the pack. We will run it up through the bottom right here. And this looks like it's a two looper. So we would come through the bottom like this. Under and under, under and under. And that's going to come back together on that side. And then from here, we would put our snaps back on, make sure they do lock all the way down. We unsnap, we aren't in the middle right there. There we go. And down we go. That allows that to spread back out and not wander. And that's nice and secure on there. That allows us then to put whatever we want inside there and hopefully not fall out. did come down, but I gave it some pretty good shaking right there. If I tightened this up a little bit, if I pulled this out and brought this back and really kind of cinched up that elastic, I could get a lot more grip on it and I wouldn't see it falling out of there. Now this is a slightly thin magazine. If I went with something a little bit thicker, this damn magazine, That didn't move at all. I, well, I didn't move about that much on there. So again, you're not going to be running like that when you're out there playing. So definitely good grip that goes inside of there. So holds the thinner. This is a standard M4 magazine right here, and I can feel the difference between those two going in and out of there. So you definitely want to give yourself a little bit more squeeze on this one when you're putting it on there. But it definitely fits in with no issues. 
AK mag. Um, because of the funny shape of the magazine, the extreme curvature of the mag, the this side over here goes all the way up. I can feel it bottoming out up here on the top. But this side right here is just a little bit down. That doesn't mean it doesn't hold it though. You definitely want to set your magazines up though so the curvature, if you're using AK mags, so that everything lined up properly. You want anything bumping into each other and you'd always want to make sure all the mags are going in the same direction otherwise they'd be crossing over on that one. Uh, T15s right there. This one's got the pull down handle on it which makes it even easier to pop right out of there. This one I think I'd put a little bit more tension on. It's not easy to pull out but it's definitely not as tight as the dam mag. That's the new 11 rounder right there. Again goes in nice and easy. Um, I don't see you having a problem fitting any magazines inside here at all. Now this is not designed for two at once though. I would not try to fit two magazines in here. I mean, let's just see what happens here. Let's try this one first. I mean, I could probably loosen that up and then get that in there, but then when you're trying to get them out, you wouldn't be able to pull them out individually. You pull one down and all the other, the other one would slide out of there too. So um, not recommended for two. Do what you want with it though. I would say it's a single mag pouch. Um, and then pulling it off is just as easy as we put it right on there. Again, you just snap your tabs off, slide it out, and you're done. Very, very simple installation and removal. Comes in three different colors. We've got the coyote, dark earth, tan khaki, whatever you want to call this color right here. We've got an olive drab and an all black, which goes with everything. Warrior pull down magazine Molly pouches available through the website. Order yours now through ansgear.com.